Well, hello. Today I am going to show you how to make spaghetti squash with um, chicken fajitas and smothered with cheese on top and baked in the oven. So, I guess it's smothered spaghetti squash. Anyway, um, I saw this recipe online and I haven't tried it and it's actually, it was not even chicken fajitas. It was another thing, but I'm going to try it this way because it sounds really good and we'll see how it turns out. So, anyway, first off, you take the... Um, spaghetti squash and you chop the ends off uh, and you chop the other end off hiya that didn't work hiya still didn't work third time's the charm right hiya yes okay and then you want to cut it down the long way Like so. Then you grab a spoon. One nice, I, I hate my kitchen because of how small it is, but one nice thing is everything is within reach. I can stand here and touch both sides of the oven and the counters and I can reach everything. So you don't really walk around in the kitchen much. So then you'll go ahead and take out the insides and I won't record all of this, but you'll scrape it out until it's clean and then I'll come, show, come back and show you what to do next. Okay, we're back and I got these cleaned out as you can see. And what you do next is you lightly salt them. Guys, I'm recording. So you just lightly salt them. And then I use the coconut oil. So um, I just think feel like it tastes better and it's good for you because it's a healthy fat. So I just, you'll go ahead and spray down your cookie sheet. And then you will take your halves and you'll lay them upside down like so and then you'll put them in the oven on 350 for 30 to 35 minutes and you'll poke them with a fork to see if they're soft first and I'll come back and show you the rest in a little bit okay so we're back and I got my fajita seasoning mixed up which you can go to my Pinterest under my foods page and get the recipe there we tripled that so we'd have more for later um, and then I got my veggies cut up. So I've got onions, red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers. And then I cut the um, pepper jack cheese and the cheddar cheese. So I have all of that ready to go. And then I also chunked up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. So um, the spaghetti squash over here is done. You can see it looks really pretty and like golden brown and it got, it cooked just enough. So I'm going to add some oil to the frying pan over here and about two tablespoons of olive oil. I like this brand. I feel like it's a good quality brand if you're looking for a good quality brand of olive oil. So then we'll go ahead and I always saute the veggies first. So we'll take this over and we will add the veggies. Then I'm gonna let them cook down for probably three to five minutes. Then I will add the chicken and the spices, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, the fajitas mix is cooked, and the spaghetti squash is done, and my cheese is all grated over here. So we're going to go ahead and compile it all, and I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is this delicious fajita. I hope you guys can see that. Um, nice and cooked. And the, just a simple trick that I always do, you can see they're kind of, some of them are like um, almost burnt looking. I always turn it on high the last about two minutes and wait one minute, stir it, and wait one minute and stir it and it gives it that, oh, I can't even think of the term right now. Anyway, it tastes amazing, caramelized, there we go. That caramelized taste. So just a trick if you want your fajitas to have a little bit more of that caramelized taste. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these up. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So excited. Okay, and then let's fill up the other half. Pieces 
pieces fell down, so we'll pop those back up in there. And oh goodness, that looks amazing. Hope you guys can see how yummy that looks. So I'm going to do a mixture of the white ch cheddar. I use white cheddar because I like to avoid dyes, if at all possible, since they're not natural most of the time. So um, since cheddar usually uses yellow dye and um, red dye, then I avoid those and just use the white cheddar. And then I wanted it to be a little bit spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of the pepper jack on each. All right, let's clean a little bit. You guys see how yummy that looks? I hope it's clear and it's not all blurry so that you can see how good that looks. So we put it in the oven on three, bake 350 for uh, about five minutes, just until the cheese melts. Everything else was already pre-cooked. So, and I will show you one more picture back at the end when we're getting it. Okay, guess what? The timer went off. So we're going to get the um, pot holders out and then we are going to get out our delicious, delicious looking dinner. Oh man, you guys can't see it from there. Okay, but check this out. Can you all see that? Okay, I'm going to set it down in the oven and then I'm going to, or the stove top, and then I'm going to get my camera over here closer. So you can all see this. See that deliciousness? Look at that. That looks so good. I am stoked to try this tonight. All right, guys. So this is a fajita smothered spaghetti squash. Enjoy.